Hello everyone, welcome again to another Jira Cloud Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how you can configure swim lane in Jira Cloud Projects. Now we are going ahead with uh, the classic Scrum, classic Kanban, next gen Kanban and next gen Scrum projects. So I'll show you what all swim lane configuration options are available in these projects, these type of projects basically and how you can configure swim lanes in all of these projects. So uh, let me go ahead with the classic Scrum project first, which is very similar to the Jira server version. So if you go to the uh, classic project and go to the board, so basically if you go to the active sprints and this is the board. And when we talk about the swim lane, swim lane is nothing, but it's basically uh, a categorization or a row being added into your board. So if we go to the three right ellipses at the corner of the page and go to the board settings and here in the settings you will see the swim lane. So if you read the description, a swim lane is a row on the board that can be used to group issues. So that's all a swim lane does. It's basically uh, say, for example, you have the columns in the board, but you want to categorize the issues in the form of rows. So, for example, you have five member team and you want to categorize, you want to have a row of issues for each member in your team. So you can create the swim lane based on those criteria. So in the classic scrum project, you go to the board settings and in the swim lanes and in the swim lane, you will see this drop down. Uh, wherein you can base your swim lanes based on the queries, the stories or the assignees, epics or projects. Or you can disable the swim lane altogether. So if say for example, I don't want to enable swim lane, just change it to none. And that's it. If you go to the board, back to the board, you will see none of the stories are being, uh, there is no row in this particular board. Okay, let me close this. If I want to enable the swim lane, go to the board setting again. Say, for example, this time I want to uh, have the swim lane or assign base the swim lane on the assignees. And then unassigned issues, what I want to do. So show below other swim lane or show above other swim lane. So this is for the unassigned issues. So if I will choose show above other swim lanes, then unassigned issues will be shown at the top. All right, so let me go back to the board and you will see the unassigned issues row has been created, right? So this is the swim lane. Uh, it's a row which has unassigned row, which is one issue. And then based on the user, you will see the issues are being assigned, right? So you can maximize or minimize these rows and see how many issues are being associated to that particular user. So this is creating the swim lane based on the assigning. Okay, so that's all you need to do to basically configure the swim lane in classic scrum project. Simply go to the board settings, go to the swim lane and then configure the swim lanes accordingly. Now going back to the classic Kanban project. So if I select classic Kanban project, it will have a similar configuration to configure the swim lane. So in the Kanban board, Go to the Kanban board. In the right hand side, you will see the board settings. So click on the three ellipses, go to the board settings, and you will see exactly similar configuration as we have seen for the swim lane in the classic Scrum project. Okay, so say for example, I want to group the issues based on the stories, base the swim lanes on stories, then I'll choose the stories, and then the issues will be grouped as per the story. Now, since here there are not, you know, uh, there are not many stories, so it can't show you, but that's the way to configure the issues based on the story. Let me try changing it to something else and see if it, um, say for example, let's say epics. So if both the issues are, so at the moment there are no epics, no issues assigned to the epic, so it's not showing. So let me change it to projects or not to the story, say assignees, okay? And here you can see both the issues are unassigned. So it is showing the unassigned swim lane, 
all right if i assign this issue so for example let me assign it to someone and show you the swim lane okay so i have assigned that issue and if i refresh this let me go back to reports and go back to the board again and now you will see that there is a swim lane for the user rcv test and a swim lane for the unassigned issues right so this is how you will configure the swim lane for the classic kanban project now let's go to the next gen project so next gen scrum next gen scrum by default i mean the the next gen projects don't support swim lane configuration but there is an option so the option is to basically group by so in the right hand side if you click on these three ellipses you won't see the option as you will see in the classic projects so in the next gen project you can group the issue so there is an option group by wherein you can choose the group by by assignee which will uh, be sort of similar to what we have seen in the swim lane uh, as per the epic right so issues without epic and issues with epic uh, so you can see the configuration there and as per the subtask so whatever is available here that's how you can group your issues in the particular board in the next gen scrum project and similar is the case for the next gen kanban project okay so if i go to the next gen kanban project here as well you can group by the issues based on assigning epic or subtask all right so if you want to group the issues or have the swim lanes in the next gen project this is the option that you have to choose now by the time you are using or in the later releases there might be a possibility that atlassian adds the functionality of configuring the swim lane in the next gen project as well because there there is a lot of demand or there is a lot of uh, um, lot lot many people on the community have asked for this particular feature because swim lane is very important feature and very highly used feature in the scrum or kanban development projects uh, whenever we are having stand-ups in the team uh, we configure the board based on the signy or you know based on different swim lanes so that it's easier for the members of the team to visualize the uh, the, the cards accordingly what issues are being assigned to them or what issues are being assigned to other person so configuring swim lane and flexibility around configuration of the swim lane is very important and it might be available in future but at the moment while i'm creating this particular tutorial uh, the only option to configure swim lane in the next gen project is basically through the group by feature in the right hand ellipsis there is no other option to configure the swim lane as we configure in the classic project so that's all about the configuration of the swim lane or how you can configure swim lane in jira for different product uh, different projects in jira cloud so hope you like the tutorial please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching